On the 27th of October, 2009, folk singer Taylor Mitchell was in the middle of a solo concert tour of the maritime provinces of Canada. During downtime between two concerts, she decided to go walking on the Cape Breton Highlands National Park Skyline Trail. This walk in the woods, however, ended up costing Taylor Mitchell her life. Among the last people to see Taylor alive were an American couple who passed her near the beginning of the Skyline Trail at 2.45 p.m. The couple were going in the opposite direction to Taylor, heading back down an access road towards the car park. While on this access road, they spotted a pair of coyotes walking towards them along the middle of the track, displaying an extraordinary lack of fear. The American couple moved aside and waited for the coyotes to pass. The animals did so, slinking off towards the skyline trail. Just six minutes later, the couple heard a disturbing sound. Animal cries mixed with human screams. These sounds were coming from the direction of the trail, the direction in which the coyotes had disappeared, the direction where Taylor had last been seen. The couple returned quickly to the car park and used the phone there to call for help. As they were doing so, a new group of four hikers arrived at the car park. The couple informed them of what they had heard and the four hikers set off up the access road towards the trail. The first things they found were Taylor's scattered possessions. Then they happened upon a trail of blood and torn clothing. Finally, they came to a washroom with a large pool of blood at the door. Taylor lay in a nearby clearing with one coyote still standing over her, apparently unafraid. The group of four hikers charged the coyote several times before it relented and slunk away from Taylor. Even then, it remained close by until a member of the mounted police arrived and fired a shotgun in its direction, at which point it fled. Taylor was rushed to a local health centre and then airlifted to hospital. She'd lost an extraordinary amount of blood and was barely conscious. There were bites all over her body, including particularly serious wounds on her legs and head. Although she was alive and conscious when she was discovered, she did not survive her injuries. Thus it was that Taylor Mitchell became the victim of the only known fatal coyote attack on a human ever to have taken place in Canada. Taylor's mother, who knew of her daughter's love for nature and wild things, issued a statement pleading for restraint. Taylor, she noted, would not have wanted any coyotes to be killed as a result of what happened to her. We take a calculated risk, she said, when spending time in nature's fold. Despite this plea, several coyotes were killed by park officials during the next month including one female that was acting aggressively. Three of the five animals killed were connected to the attack on Taylor by traces of blood on their coats and other forensic evidence. It was noted that the coyotes killed were extremely aggressive. Since the death of Taylor Mitchell, attacks by coyotes on humans have been few and far between, but they do still occur. Reminders, each and every one, of the unpredictable nature of wild animals.